Finally, all this week we've been profiling the finalists for the Pride of Britain Awards, celebrating London's fundraising heroes. Well, today was the day Rachel Brown went to surprise the lucky winner. We're here today to surprise our Pride of Britain winner, Ian Conway. He has no idea. Should we go and surprise him? Let's do it. <gasps> Hello. I may have told you a little white lie. <laughs> and we're here today because you are our Pride of Britain winner. Oh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> How are you feeling? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh <we're... laughs> Oh, so I saw you laughing. Oh, thank Let you me very give much. You oh. the award. So deserved, Ian. Oh, wow. Not prepared for this. <laughs> Not prepared at lost all. Lost for words. So, yeah, <laughs> totally lost for words. But, oh, that's, that's for Louise and for Grey on the Street. We just wanted to say a massive thank you for all the work that you and your family have done to just leave an amazing legacy for Louise. But just the money that you've raised will help so many other families. It's going to sit Next quite a price. Yeah. So there we have it. Ian Conway, yeah. our Pride of Britain London winner. A dad wanting to continue the memory of his daughter Louise after losing her to leukaemia when she was nine. This little fella, Geoffrey the giraffe, was her soulmate, never leaving her side. After Louise died, Ian, with the help of friends, shared the idea of giraffes on tour. Asking people to buy their own Jeffrey the giraffe, taking him on adventures. The sky really is no limit. Raising more than £15,000 for Great Ormond Street Hospital. Kind of similar to why every single one of these people have um, done this is because it resonates with them. Our Pride of Britain judging panel for this year, including Olympian Desiree Henry, said Jeffrey the giraffe has captured people's imaginations. I just love the idea that it's a, you know, this toy is kind of continuing her legacy, which is why I would go with the vote for Ian and Louise. But how could we forget our three other finalists? We had Alan playing his piano to fund research into cancer after losing his wife. Then there was Nick rescuing animals from the war in Ukraine. We're going to get this one to a vet as soon as we can. And then Kelsey, raising awareness of brain cancer in memory of her husband, Tom. People put so much heart and dedication mm -hmm. into fundraising. For us. All inspiring, all causes close to their hearts. For Ian and his wife, Amanda, this award is just the beginning of the fundraising adventures of Jeffrey the Giraffe. If we can get him to the moon, then, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'll probably hang up my boots. <laughs> You've made the commitment now. Yeah. You've made that yeah. commitment. Yeah, he's staying, staying for a long while. A brilliant winner in a week of fantastic finalists. Thank you very much.